I said we have freedom. We have Amen. come to a place of victory. We have come to a place of power. We have come to a place where we can walk in the abundance of God. Amen. In the grace of God. John chapter 1 verse 29. The next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I met when he, I said a man who comes after me who has surpassed me because he was before me. He identified that Jesus is the Son of God, the one who came after me, but the one who was before me. He said, listen, before the beginning of time, before God created the beginning of time, God was already, Jesus was already. Why? Because when Jesus cast out the demon out of the man uh, with a legion of demonic uh, in, uh, oppression and possession, uh, the demons came and fell before him and said, listen, did you came to uh, punish us before the time? Uh, let me tell you, we are walking in a time and in a season that we will make the devil back. Uh, I said the devil will plead uh, and said, uh, is this the time of punishment uh, because of the power that Amen. Verse 31, he said, I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. Listen, he not only came to be revealed to Israel, but to have that you and I will have a revelation that Jesus is the Christ, the Son the living God, the one that is blameless, the one that the Father is tuned with power from on high, the one that came to set the captive free, the one that paid the penalty for our iniquity. Amen. Verse 32, then John gave this testimony, I saw the Spirit came down from heaven as a dove and remained on him. I would not have known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, let me tell you, unless you have a revelation who Jesus is, I don't care if you're the most learned man with the most knowledge in the world. You could be the richest man upon the face of the earth, but unless God, by his spirit, reveal his son unto you, you will have no knowledge of who Jesus is. It's only revealed by the power of the spirit. That's why the Bible tells me in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18 that the gospel that we preach is foolishness to those who are perishing, but those who are saved. It is the power of God unto salvation. This is the gospel of power. The cross of Jesus Christ might be foolishness to the world, but to us it is the power of God. The Holy Spirit came to reveal Jesus to us. I have seen and I testify that this is the Son of God. In our lives, in our walk, we can testify that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Why? Because of His wonders, because of His grace, because of His miracles, His miracles and His wonders and His love and His grace is so infinite, it is immeasurable. His love is so powerful. He delivered us from the power of darkness, from the power of hell, from the power of the grave. And he set our feet on a rock to stay, on the rock Jesus Christ. And today we stand by the power of the grace of God, by the power of the cross of the living God. We stand today because of what Jesus has done. I want to tell you today, it is 
behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of this world. In 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7, get rid of the old ease that you may be a new bench without ease as you really are for Christ our past of the land has been sacrificed. Jesus the Christ, the past of the land, God ordained before the foundation of the earth was laid that Jesus Christ when the, when the call came into the heavens, who shall I send and who will go? There was one I will go and uh, go down to the earth and become a mere man and pay the price. So the creation that the Heavenly Father, that the Son and the Holy Spirit created from the dust of the earth will have eternal life. So that they will not die in their sin when they call Buddha couldn't answer the call. Muhammad couldn't answer the call. I couldn't answer the call. Only one was worthy. I'm here to tell you, worthy is the Lamb. Amen. That was slain before the foundation of the earth was laid. What a powerful gospel. Verse 8, therefore let us keep the festival, not with the old heaths, the heaths of malice and wickedness, but with bread, without heaths, the bread of sincerity and truth. The word of truth is sincerity and truth. The word of God is the only truth. There is no other truth but the word of the living God. I don't care what the world says. I don't care what the government says. I care what heaven says. And I'm standing in agreement with heaven. We will not be denied. I said we will not be denied. Amen. And we will not submit to the voices of men that are contrary to the word of God. One of the reasons is because Jesus is the living word of God without ease, without wickedness and without malice. The same Jesus that died so that people will be saved. The Bible tells me that when you continue in your sin, uh, uh, in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, uh, and you refuse to repent of your sin, uh, the Bible said there is no price that could pay for somebody that continue. There is no ransom. That willfully sin in the presence of God nothing will be able to pay. So what does the Bible mean by that? When you come to the cross, you have to repent and turn away from wickedness. You have to walk towards Christ uh, and lay aside the works of the flesh, uh, the lust of the flesh, uh, everything that the world uh, desire and want to give unto us. Uh, if we go to the Bible, into the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, in Genesis chapter 2, we will find out uh, that there was a, a covenant with made, uh, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God our provider. And when I, Abraham I, I sacrifices his son Isaac of the altar of sacrifice, uh, God said, listen, when he hold the knife in his hand, uh, he said, oh Lord, he said, oh Lord, uh, when he sacrificed his son, he said, Lord, everything that is mine belong to you. No, Ishmael was not the son of the promise. Isaac was the son of the promise. I decree and declare to tell you, when he obeyed God and his son lay on that altar, there's another altar that was raised up years later, 2,000 years ago, 
on the cross of Calvary. The Bible tells me at the place of God there was another altar and that altar was so powerful. That altar was so great that it exceeded every other altar upon the place of the earth. I will have my own. 
on this until the government stop this abortion clinic that's an altar a blood sacrifice that this government raised up demonic altars that we strengthen in this nation that's why by the power of the blood of Jesus I stand here today and I may get a free every blood sacrifice that is made in this nation that is not of God by the power that's in the blood of Jesus I release it upon this nation I silence every every blood covenant that's made for darkness in the name of Jesus Amen Any voice that are speaking contrary to the word of God. Abortion is okay. It is my body. I can do whatever I want. You are so liberated. But your, your life become an instrument in the hand of the enemy. Right now by the power of the blood. I break down that stronghold over this nation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Are the altars that we raised up is the altars of gangsterism, blood sacrifices. They kill and they murder and they strengthen a demonic altars. Today, as I stand and be reminded of an altar that we raised up, there's blood that flowed on the cross of Calvary, and that blood is still alive. I said the blood is still alive, and that blood speaks today. It speaks over your life. It speaks over the station. It speaks into the atmosphere. Every drug house, every drug den, every house of gangsterism. Right now, I release the voice of the blood of Jesus against it right now by fire and by force. The other altars that we raised up is the ancestral worship. Demonic altars being raised up in this nation. Sometimes they sacrifice children. Sat Satanism. They sacrifice all kinds of stuff. They release curses into the atmosphere. And they release that the, that the churches will go down. That pastors will fail. That those who move in power will uh, be in a place where they are so disappointed and want to step out of ministry because of circumstances of life. Because it looks like the church turned away against them. But let me tell you, I release right now against the power of darkness every satanic altar every curse that we release against your life the power of the blood of Jesus the power of resurrection everyone that's in ministry I release it into the atmosphere I silence every voice against your life. Somebody that is listening and said to be in ministry is so hard. Somebody that listened and said no, I don't want to serve God anymore. I release the power of the blood of Jesus against every onslaught of the enemy against your life. There is no power in the blood. When it comes to the power of the blood, I'm passionate about the power of the blood because I know there is power in the blood of Jesus. Satanic altars. I want to tell you today, in this house, we raised up an altar 
that extended from Golgotha right into this place, into Rechaba, into Yalsis River, into Pontiago, into Bridgetown, all over the Western Cape. We leave the power of the blood of Jesus. We leave the name of Christ all over. We will not be ashamed and we will not be afraid what the enemy can do. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, the Bible tells me something supernatural happened. Something supernatural happened when he died in Matthew chapter 25. Uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 26, the Last Supper. I'm going to celebrate the Passover verse 18 to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. But we go further down. Jesus took the bread, verse 26, and gave thanks. And broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take me, this is my body. It's reminded of that beautiful song in Psalm 53, where Isaiah prophesied he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement was upon him that was supposed to be on us was laid upon him. He paid the price. Matthew 8 verse 17 so that it might be fulfilled that was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Robo senda la bakurubola ni amtana la manda la manda. In chapter 27, the moment he died on the cross of Calvary, something supernatural happened. His body was bruised. In Isaiah 52, the last verse, the Bible said, nobody could look upon his body. That's how scarred it was. He suffered so much pain while he could have called ten thousand of angels to loose and set him free and dealt with the wickedness of men. But he was on a divine assignment to liberate you and I, to set the world free from captivity, the power of hate, the power of sin, and to give us the victory over the forces and the powers of darkness. He died so that you and I can live. Verse 50, he said, and when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up the spirit. Because he cried, Eli, 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 lama sabachthani. My God, my God, why art thou forsaken me? Even in his death, he was forsaken by the Father. But he paid the price. The Bible said when he cried out, the curtain in the temple were torn in two from top to bottom. From top to bottom to show us the graves that we can enter only to the throne of grace. By the power of the blood, somebody died and his name is Jesus. It is not Buddha. I did not die for you. The church did not die for you. No angel died for you. Jesus died for you. And the power of the cross is so powerful, beloved. The Bible said the tomb broke open. 
I said the tombs split open. Amen. There was an earthquake and the rocks split apart. And the body of many holy people, those who were dead, came alive. Whatever is dead in your life, I speak life into it. I said I speak life into your womb. I speak life into your circumstances. I speak life into your finances. Why? Because that day, 2,000 years ago, my Jesus died. If the doctors give up hope because of his death and resurrection, you have life. You will live and you will not die. Amen. The Bible said they came out of the tomb and appeared to many people. They came out of the tomb. Your family that I will say will come out of the tomb. I said your family that I will say will come out of the tomb. Right now, I want you 